All right, guys. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over um, your first part of your essay. So we're going to be talking about the introduction and blaming the South. Because basically that's what documents A and B did. Talking about how the South is using terrorism, the KKK, and doing whatever they can to take the right to vote away from the Republicans and make sure the Democratic Party has it. Um, so they're doing everything they can to get that accomplished. Um, so, first thing you guys are going to want to do in your essay you are going to want to mention the Civil War. I don't need a lot of detail about it. Just tell me that there was a war between the North and the South. That the uh, North won the war. The war ends up resulting in the end of slavery. Um, that sort of thing. Then what you're going to need to do is you are going to define Reconstruction. And remember that Reconstruction was not trying to fix everything with the South. The main focus of Reconstruction is trying to change the South's government. They weren't worried about buildings. They're not worried about jobs. They're not worried about education. They do some of that, but the main focus was on changing the government. Then what you need to do is explain the three reconstruction plans. So you've got the 10% plan, presidential reconstruction, and then radical reconstruction. All right, so you're going to explain what these plans were to me, explain what they did. And just so you know, your introductory paragraph is going to be the longest one. Then you're going to define martial law. After you get done with that, you need to explain the election. Of 1876. Tell me what happened. Tell me who ran. Tell me what the complications were. Then explain the Compromise of 1877. And this should be capitalized, not lowercase. Capitalized, compromised, because it's just Technically, it's not even a document. Remember, it's an informal agreement. And then what you are going to do is you are going to give me your thesis, which is basically the North and South are both responsible for the end of Reconstruction. It shouldn't be the north and south because you got to do it in the order that you're writing it. So we're going to start it. It's going to sound weird, but it's the south and the north. Black and white. The south and the north are both responsible for the end of Reconstruction. So that's your first paragraph. All right, you get all that done. That is your first body paragraph. Now, 
explaining the reconstruction plans, explaining the election of 1876, explaining the compromise, all of that is going to take some time. Remember, in your essay, you either need to, in the beginning or in your conclusion, use the W E D Du Bois quote. And always make sure that you are using evidence. All right, so that's your introductory paragraph. Now on to your first body paragraph. That is the second part of your assignment for this week. So your first body paragraph. blaming the end of Reconstruction on the South. And you're going to give me your baby thesis. So if your big thesis was the North and South are both responsible, or the South and North are both re responsible for the end of Reconstruction, your baby thesis is you're only going to talk about what you're talking in this paragraph, so that's the South. So you're going to tell me the South, it was the South's fault for the end of Reconstruction. You're going to do something like that, all right? So we're going to start going over the things. You've got four things that you need to talk about in this paragraph. So first piece of evidence that you have, you have the Albion Tourget letter. Now, Here's where this essay is going to differ. I'm not really going to give you a whole bunch here. What you're going to do is you are going to analyze it. Analyzing it means that you are going to describe and explain. What I mean by that is, you're going to imagine, I have never seen the Albion Tourget letter. You have to tell me what the letter is about. All right? So, I would use quotes here. Do not quote the letter. You're going to summarize the letter. Pick one powerful section in it to quote. Small section. Do not quote the entire thing. If you do, that is plagiarism. You will be losing points. All right, so make sure you are using quotes, though. That does not mean quote the entire letter. Find a small portion of it that is relevant. Then what you are going to do is you are going to analyze, which means describe and explain, You're going to analyze the political cartoon, the donkey cartoon. Remember to always cite your source. Albion Tourget is the source for this. I gave you the source for the donkey cartoon. Make sure you find it. Tell who drew or tell where it came from, the newspaper that it came from. All right, now when you analyze the donkey cartoon, you're gonna describe and explain it. You need to do it in a way, remember, I can't see the donkey cartoon. You're gonna imagine I have never seen it. So you need to describe it in such a way that I know what is in the picture. I should be able to picture in my mind what the cartoon has on it. I should be able to draw the picture because I'm such a good artist, you guys know that already. I should be able to draw that cartoon from your description. Be that descriptive of it. Also, remember to use the words that were below the cartoon. I gave you them for a reason. Make sure you use them. All right, so you're going to analyze, describe the cartoon. 
describe their purposes, both of them. Describe what is going on. Next, you're going to analyze again. You're going to be analyzing like crazy in this one. You are going to analyze the, uh, what was his name? Abram Colby testimony. So you need to tell me, what is he talking about? What is going on? All of that information. Use quotes. Use a quote, powerful quote. Do not quote the entire thing. And then you're gonna analyze the black man voting cartoon. Once again, you have a source for this. It says it on the document where it came from. So you need to tell me where it came from, what is in the picture. You need to describe the picture in such a way that I can picture it in my mind, that I know what's going on in the picture. So be descriptive. And then after you have done all of that, you are to the final point of this. You're going to tell me the South ended Reconstruction by doing whatever they did in Document A. and doing whatever they did in document B. All right, so to help you guys out with that, when we're in class, we're going to be going over these questions here. How does this document help answer the question? So we're going to go over how document A blames it on the South. We're going to go over how document B blames it on the South. All right, so we're gonna go over that information. Don't think you're gonna be left hanging out there. We're gonna say how these documents are doing that. That is your virtual work for this week. You have got to get this part of the essay written. It will not be accepted late. Um, this is going to be counted as a classwork, or as two classwork grades. Um, your final essay is going to count as a test grade. So having this done on time, no matter what you, you know, how good it is, I'm going to be checking to make sure that you actually wrote the essay here. The final essay is counting as a test grade. You will have to turn that in completely separately. So make sure you get this essay written. If you have questions, email me. Email me if you have questions. All right. See you guys in class.